Olympics now. Here's Sarah Keith Lucas. Hi, Sarah. Hi there, Jane. Well, much of November has been very mild so far, but we've got a brief colder interlude in the weather, a colder window not lasting too long, though. This is the picture out there in the Isle of Wight at the moment. A lot of blue sky around, but there are also some showers around too. Now, those showers will be gradually easing as we head through the remainder of this afternoon, but there's still quite a cold wind out there, making things feel a little bit colder than they actually are. We've got a ridge of high pressure that's building its way in from the west, but the wind's rotating around that, coming in from a northwesterly direction. So particularly brisk winds around eastern parts of Scotland, eastern England as well. In fact, we have got some flood warnings with high tide combined with these brisk northerly winds. One or two showers around for parts of East Anglia, the southeast, Wales and also northern and eastern Scotland as well. But most other areas staying largely dry through the afternoon. The winds are quite brisk coming in from the northwest, higher gusts than that. And temperatures lower than recent days really across the board, but they'll feel colder than this when you add on that wind chill, particularly for the likes of Aberdeenshire, for instance. Sub-zero feel to the weather there. There's already been some snow flurries over the higher ground of Scotland, but the showers should be easing away as we move through into the evening hours. So most places is dry, particularly for the first half of the night. Later tonight, though, the next area of cloud and rain works in from the west. So some rain for Northern Ireland, western fringes of Britain first thing tomorrow. Towards the east, though, you stay clear for longest. So it's there that the temperatures will fall lowest. Could be a touch of frost, perhaps even the odd icy stretch around too. Tomorrow will feel different to today, though. We've got milder air coming in from the southwest, bringing all this cloud. This band of rain will be pushing from west to east, followed by further showers as well. So a bit of a grey feel to the day tomorrow, fairly damp for most of us. But temperatures will be back in double figures. A little bit chilly around that east coast after that cold start as well. And then looking ahead towards the weekend now, and I think changeable is going to be the word. We've got this cold front that's pushing its way slowly further south on Saturday. Quite windy conditions, especially for the northwest of the UK with further showers. This cloud and rain sinking south across England and Wales through the course of Saturday. And temperatures not quite as chilly as they are today, so a little bit milder, somewhere between about 10 to 14 degrees for most on Saturday. Heading into the second half of the weekend, and it looks like that cold front may well just linger in the south. So a little bit cloudy for parts of southern England, south Wales, the odd shower around there. For most other areas, actually not a bad day on Sunday. There'll be some sunshine and still some blustery showers around too. Temperatures a little cooler on Sunday, certainly compared to Saturday. But do watch out for those fairly chilly conditions, especially in the east overnight tonight. Jane.